Hey, man, I'm glad to be seen. We, we put it up on uh, Twitter, and what we want to do, because we saw you had the, the million plus. Are you tweeting yourself? I, you know what? I, 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 I have. Uh, <laughs> what? What? I tweeted right, for the first time yesterday. Okay. You know, and I, I, you know, that's one of my, that's one of my plans for this year, man, to do more, to be more hands-on with the right. online social media process. Mm-hmm. Not to say that I will be a full-time tweeter. Right. But right. you know, what I'm saying from here, from time to time, I will update the people. Yeah, and know. we know. Uh, not only are you like back out and doing your thing, but now the OMG girls have taken it. <laughs> Son, yeah. why you was gone? How yeah. you feel about that? I know you finna jump on and go and support them. Well, absolutely, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm really, really hey. proud of Hey, you well, go ahead and say something there. Say what you wanna say? Hey. Say hey, Atlanta. <laughs> it's major, everybody. He is say so hey. Cute. You know what I'm gonna say, Nate? Hey, just hey. <laughs> so you gotta go support the OMG girl. Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, uh, that's that's I'm very proud of that for for obvious reasons. You know, not only is that you know uh, my my daughter, my wife, and, and and my nieces and my family, but they they got jamming music. You know, even as a even as an executive, as a CEO, I got to recognize talent when I see it. And yeah. They they work hard, uh, and and their music hot. You know, so we gonna I'm supporting that to the fullest. Well, we saw the, the statement that you put up uh, on, on your website saying that you were going to go back to the old T.I. And I talked about doing a Ryan report and people just it just the city went crazy <laughs> because they're saying, OK, we 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 hope that's what it is. Yeah. When you said that, what do you mean in, in your head of of the old T.I.? Well, I mean, to be to be quite I guess to be frank man you know when I went through all the things I went through you know what I'm saying the new sophisticated paper trail uh the upper echelon TI you right. know all the old people those were the people who were the quickest to give me their back pockets to kiss you know what I'm wow. saying so the ones who really stayed down with me yeah was 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 you know them bankhead natives you know what I'm saying the ones who supported them first two albums so I feel like, man, I'm gonna stay down with who stayed down with me, man. So I'm I'm gonna speak to the people who spoke to me. I'm gonna communicate to the people who supported me during my darkest hours. And also, you know, I mean, you know, just just being a fan of music myself, I understand that the the core and the foundation of my success derives from that. No doubt. You know, so I, at one time I was so focused and so caught up in, you know, just I guess being a role model of being, you know what I'm saying, being what everybody else expected me to be that I got away from what I do best. And that's Bankhead. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, you know, that's what I meant by that. You know, energy wise, subject matter wise, sonically. Now that was going to be my follow up. Yeah. Do you feel like your flow changed when you went to that, that upper echelon? You know, because if you compare some of the first T.I. Yeah. To, you know, because every morning when I'm in the... I, I'm even listening to the the Zagazow. I'm listening <laughs> to that T.I. when I'm working. I mean, but from where that went to, to, you know, like you said, the, the upper echelon, I thought your flow changed a bit. It did. It did. You know, my flow changed. My surroundings changed. My, my, my environment, you know, the things that I saw on the day-to-day. Uh, a lot of those things changed, but... but even when I changed, even when I diversified, even when I expand and evolve, I still maintain the ability to go back. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know how to do it. If you tell me, man, make me make me something to sound like this. I know, I know, I got that formula. I know exactly how to do it. It's like making sweet Kool-Aid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> easy. You never know, Easy. Yeah. But Tip, I gotta ask you though, People Station V103, Ryan Cameron show, TI in the building. I gotta ask though, isn't it kind of like you can't win for losing when it comes to this? Because like you said, if you evolve, if your music evolves, if you start kind of changing your flow up, which is what happens as you get older and, and life evolves. Yeah. If you were to say that you were in the trap like you did back in trap music or urban legends the same people might say man no you ain't you ain't in the trap you rich now you lie it's almost like you can't win do you know what i mean you you either well, a- abandon banquet or you abandon i don't think so man i think that i could still be in the trap without trap without trapping you right. know what i'm saying i can be and you know a trap is basically the the neighborhood that i grew up in i'm in there i'm in there every time i go see my granddad you know what i'm saying i'm in there i'm just not doing what i was doing right. back then <laughs> T.I. in the studio. Uh, his first interview. Uh, we're very happy that he decided to come 
to the People Station V103 and of course uh, the Ryan Cameron Show. You have a unique relationship with the BET Hip Hop Awards with you. Little sweet. Yes. The, you know, and all the timing is uh, impeccable. Yeah. Tip for, yeah. for you and the BET Hip Hop Awards weekend. Uh, I got to ask you, did you bring us some music, sir? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. With that question, man. With that question. Uh, and, and, you know, this is something, man, I, I would have got to you sooner. But, you know what I'm saying? We, we just not getting it all the way ready for radio. Okay. So, uh, and I'm very proud of it, man. And uh, this is just a taste of what's, of what's next to come. Uh, this is uh, produced by Big Crit. Uh, also featuring Big Crit on the hook as well. And uh, it's called I'm Flexing. And you know, it, 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 and I kept my word. You know, I went back to that. I went back to that foundational Ti. You know, what I'm saying I'm serious trap music. And like I said, it's more where that came from. Well, let's hear it right now, man. You can log on to v-13.com. You can see Tip sitting right here in the studio, and uh, we got look got a couple of minutes with him. So we know some fans want to talk to him too. Seven four one W V E. It is of course Ti, and he's back. Yeah. B E T and Ti just go together. Yeah, right. V one zero three. B E T I. B E T I. Combined. It is your free money station. V one zero three. It's a world yeah. premiere. T.I., I'm flexing. Yeah. And he's here in the studio. And, and boy, Major won't let you go. I got to ask you right now. <laughs> What's up? When he saw your face. What? When you came home. Yeah. How? Reenact that for me. I want to know how it felt because, you know, I got three. I know that was crazy. Buddy. Yeah, man. I mean, hey, man, you know, I'm a big I'm a big family guy. You right. Know? And you got to be family. Uh, yeah. And I, and I'm a guy <laughs> with a big family. And so, you know, I'm a huge, huge part of it. And, and I miss them as well as, I'm. you know, they miss me too. And so it was a it was a big moment. But see, that brings me to my next announcement. We have a documentary television show. I'm going to stay away from the term reality show. Right. Because there's somewhat of a stigma to it. And anything you uh, associate my name with, you can uh, you can just, it's going to be eloquent and classy. Right. And ghetto at the same time. A bit. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, we got a show and we got, we captured some of the old moments. So you'll be able to see for yourself. Now talk about this book hmm? that I've been hearing about. Yeah, uh, Power and Beauty. It's a, uh, it's a fictional story that I, that I uh, authored or co-authored uh, along with uh, a gentleman named David Ritz and it's a story that we collaboratively came up with about uh, a young man and a young lady he giving you trouble a young man <laughs> and a young lady growing up in Atlanta on the west side and uh, the things that they went through and uh, how they made it from, from where they are or how they're going to make it from where they are to where they want to be <laughs> draw from any life experiences in that book? Some, okay. yeah, some, some, but it's not a, it's not a book about my life, right. but you know there are some of my experiences incorporated into that story. Now, with with the reality show, I'm sorry, with the documentary. There you go. That you are <laughs> uh, uh, shooting right now. We got you know people in the studio. Boy, as soon as you He's put it so down, cute. two seconds, like, Daddy. <laughs> he uh, so cute. What is the uh, is it the day to day life of of the business of of Ti or kind of what's the synopsis of this show? Well, it's basically what you see right here before you right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying is you know the balance balancing the between, life. Yeah, it's the balance between the Ti on stage and on television and the Ti at home or the daddy at home. Uh, the father, the husband, the, the son, the cousin, the brother, the, the friend, you know what I'm saying? Just that balance of, of, of business, of personal, and of professional. On, your, on your, per, your personal side, what would you say when people watch the show, they're going to find to be the most intriguing thing about you? Like someone, something that people are going to be like, I didn't know he liked that or did that. I guess how hands-on I am with family. You know, I guess people, you know, see me to be a... a a, a public image before they see me as as a you know as a family man I guess to see how hands on I am to see that I cook and go to school plays uh, go to school uh, teacher parent conference meetings uh, you know just to, to, to all the things that I actually do right all the things that I actually am involved in and how my family pretty much it 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 all of it revolves around me. You know, uh, and it's it's been like that for a while now. 